Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today for this video I have an experiment or a challenge for you and me too and myself. Um, today I wanted to try, I have this um, jelly plate um, that I had used before but for the purpose of this video today I want to see if I can use different things that I can find at home as, you know, in place for the jelly plate. Um, because I think, you know, not everyone can afford a jelly plate or not, or not everyone is interested in using a jelly plate. So this is what I have. Let me get my stencils out of the way. So I'm going to try first with the jelly plate. Then I'm going to use the washi side of a wax paper. I had this plastic storage thing that I got at a thrift store for 99 cents. It's just plastic. So I'm going to use that too, this side. Um, I had this acrylic piece um, from something that I got on the thrift store. And this is the cover. So this is acrylic. I'm going to use that. I have a Ziploc bag. If you don't have one this big, uh, large ones, you can use a smaller one and you know cut the size and open it. And last, I have this is just a Dollar Tree um, frame, picture frame, and this is glass. It is broken here, so I'm just gonna throw it out. But before I throw it out, I want to try it, like in glass and see. Um, how every, all these items found at home can work, you know, if, if they can work like the jelly plate. I know it's different textures and different materials, but why not? Let's try, I'm gonna challenge you and myself to use things that you have at home to create uh, backgrounds for, you know, for different projects. So we're gonna start with the, um, jelly plate let me put this aside i have my so i selected some of my stencils i had this um stamp set that i may use um i'm gonna use this acrylic paint but i also have this ones here um i also have my um watercolors i have my watercolors here so i don't think that i'm gonna use them but I have it here because I wanted to show you that you have different options. You can use these acrylics um, that you can find them at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. Um, I have some of these when my daughter has it on her room so because um, she was using them. So i just going to use this acrylic paint set that I got on Ross for $4.99. I used this acrylic the other day for making the acrylic spray ink so that's all the items that i have um i'm gonna use just book pages because i just removed all these pages from a book showing in another video how you can remove um pages from a book and that way you can use the cover the book cover as your journal uh cover so we're gonna use those pages. I had this, I don't, I think it's a broiler, broiler. Um, I'm not sure how you call it, but since I'm trying to use things at home, I'm gonna use that, but I also had this um, paper towel roll um, from my paper towel and see if we can create something similar. Um, it's not gonna be the same, but just use whatever you have at home. We're gonna try different things. Um, and then I have to, um, besides my stencils and my stamp set, I had this silicone thing that I may use to create some um, lines and stuff on my jelly plate and the other things that we're gonna use. And I got this a long time ago at Hobby Lobby. Um, they are, let me see how they, uh, if it says how they call it. They say just contour, it's just to make, it's a scrapper. Um, yeah, it's a scrapper that you can make like um, different patterns on your jelly plate or, you know, on your background. So we're gonna use this too, just to try, maybe, maybe not. So we can use different things 
at home and try to create. I was trying to find like, um, um, how you call that, the bubble wrap, but I didn't have any available. Um, you can use that to create texture. I'm gonna use some of this aluminum, aluminum foil. Um, and just do like a ball and I will create texture with this. So we have different things that I wanna try and I just gonna use my book pages just to try, um, just to use them because I already took them out of the book. So I just gonna use them for this project, for this experiment. And I will I use the background that we create here. I will use in other videos um, for tags, and other stuff. So let's start, let me get my uh, jelly plate out of the packaging. And I I bought this at Hobby Lobby for $14.99, but I bought this a long time ago um, when Hobby Lobby had the 40% off coupon. So I got it a long time ago, and this one is a small one, five by seven, they had different sizes. I don't know if the price is still the same, but we're gonna discover if we really need a jelly plate to create backgrounds um, or if we can use something else. So this is the jelly plate. It's just like gel, like gelatin. Um, I just gonna keep this one uh, um, on the bottom, but this is, this is what the jelly plate is. So we're gonna use this. Let me get my acrylic paint out of the box. And try not to, I'm gonna try not to make my paint too muddy, but you never know. I also have paper towel here to clean my roll. I don't know, I have to find out what the name of that is. And, I have my wipes. Let me get one here. I get this wipe in a pharmacy called CVS. They are real big, I, I love them. So when I'm crafting, this is my wipes. They're really good and big. So I'm just gonna have it on the side. Put some things out. Um, I was gluing two or three pages together, but I'm just gonna use like single pages. Um, I'm gonna use the ones that I glue um, together for tags and other stuff. Um, so let's start, let's see. Let me see what colors I wanna use and let's see how this turn out. So I'm just gonna place some dots of my paint like randomly on my jelly plate. And let's use, let me, I'm gonna, use two similar colors. And I'm just gonna place some randomly on my jelly plate. I'm gonna try first with my roll and then I'm gonna try with the um, paper towel roll. I know it's not gonna be the same, but just in case you wanna experiment and you don't have this roll then um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else that I can use, but I don't see anything in, like around me. So let's try with this and see, uh, you know, with the paper roll and see how it works. So I'm just gonna move my paint around. The colors are similar, so it, it may not look, di uh, you know, different. And I'm just cleaning my roll on the paper towel. And this is gonna be our first print. So this is how it looks in our paper. I'm gonna put it to the side. Just to have paint here. So I'm gonna add more because you can hardly see it. Let me use let me use another color. Let's try the purple. This one is not open yet. I'm 
I'm gonna use purple and blue on this one. My acrylic are not all open because I use it for the, um, the acrylic, the, the acrylic paint, you know, the spray, the alcohol um, spray that we did in a previous video and I didn't use all of them. So I'm gonna do a couple, um, you know, some of the pages with the jelly play, and then we're gonna move um, using to use the other stuff. So you see, I love this color. So I have some left there. You can use and do like a second print. I was gonna use my stencil, but let me use what I have left here on the jelly plate. So that's my second print. And I'm just gonna move my papers out of the way so they can start drying. Okay, so let's use, I still have, I didn't clean my, my roll. I'm just gonna use it. And let me try placing in a stencil. So I want to see this experiment is to see if, you know, I want to show you if you are interested in buying a jelly plate, if it's really necessary. So we're going to try different things. So look, oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, so let me see. I don't think that I have any. Oh, I still do. Okay, oops. So I'm just gonna clean my roll here for a moment because I'm not gonna use that color anymore. Okay, so let's try different colors now. I'm just um, placing my paper in there. So I still have some left. Let me clean my stencil. And look, you got another one. It's because it's wet now. <laughs> I broke it. But you got another one. Okay, so let me just pick this. Well, let me try something. Let's try putting another color on top of this. Um, let me use pink. And see if, if, I, know the, if I can grab the design under my paint that is going to be under my fresh paint let's see let's try that so i'm not going to press it down too much and let's see You can see a little bit, not that much, but you can still see it. So it's there. And now we're gonna place, there is, let me try something, unless you one of these scrappers.
and you don't have to have one of this you can use anything that you may find at home we will try something else after we use the scrapper i'm gonna find something here that we can use Just be careful what you use on your jelly plate. You don't want to um, cut it or break it. So let's see. Look, how cool. I love this. Okay, so let's try. I still have some lines there. And I have paint on my thing. It's not that much, but But I wanted to show you that you can uh, create texture with anything that you may have at home. You don't have to have the same things that I'm using right now. Let's try with the stamp set. Let me just clean. Let's use the green one. And I'm gonna use some of my white acrylic, just, just for fun. Oops, I used too much there. I'm gonna try to create some um, like use some of my stamp to create um, different texture and see if it works the same as the um, the stencil. Pretty sure it will because it's creating a pattern there. Mm, you can hardly see it. You can see it there in some places. Maybe it's because of the white paint. Let me use. Let me clean my stencil on um, my stamp for a moment. And let me try adding more green. But I'm not gonna use the stamp. Um, let's use something, let me see what I have here that we can use. I'm just gonna use my bone folder and create some. Patterns, I guess, or uh, I was looking for a word. Um, texture in your background, um, designs. So I don't know how to call this. Okay, but I just wanted to show you that you can use anything that you have at home. You don't, really don't have to have any fancy um, materials to do this. You see? You can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. So let me add a darker color of paint to this. Let's use this orange. I don't know if orange will go good, good with green. Let me use blue. Because I still have some of the white and the green on the on the on this rolling thing. Oh I guess you know what you can use a rolling pin. Pretty sure you can use that too. And I have a big one. Um, but I'm not gonna go and get it out. But I have one that is like I used to make cake, not professionally, but for me. And then I have this um, rolling pin that I use for my fondant. But I think you can use that.
So I'm gonna do one more with the jelly plate and we're gonna move. Uh, let me use the, let me use this and see how the texture will be. Um, just gonna use green. Let's see. Well, I don't move the paint the same, but I'm pretty sure that you can use the um, rolling pin. But we try it. So, no, this don't work. So let me throw that one out. Let me clean my hands. And, but let's use this pattern that was created here. But I think, so we know that the paper roll, um, paper towel roll won't work because of the, the you know, it's pores and the texture. So I wanted to try that. Okay. And let me just use this paint that I have left here before we move on to the next things that we're gonna use. Okay. See, there was a stencil that I wanted to use. Let me add a little bit of another color. Maybe, let me add pink. Does pink and blue create brown? I don't know. I'm going to use this stencil. Hmm. It's, it's too dry already. But let me pick that from there. Oh, I love it. And this is if I can pick what is left from here. No, I don't have that much. So I'm gonna take that out and let me clean this. And we are moving forward with the other things that we have. Let me just clean my stencil. Okay, so the next thing that I want to try, let's try the acrylic. Okay. Try not to break my stencil. Okay. Let's try the acrylic. This. Let me clean my jelly plate so we can put it away. Okay, so let's try this acrylic. Um, and you can get, I have seen like pieces of acrylic like this on um, Hobby Lobby and also on Home Depot. My daughter just uh, made something with an, an acrylic and they sell it there too. I don't remember the price, but pretty sure it's cheaper than the jelly plates. So let's try. Too much.
Let's see how this works. And I'm just gonna use the same paper that we have from the last one that we did with the jelly plate. Let's see. Um, let's see this one. Okay, it's, it's closer, um, similar to the jelly plate, but it's not the same, but you can still use this. So let's try again. Uh, to dry less I noticed that the paint will stay like it won't move as much on the jelly plate than here let's try with a stencil let's see let's use a different one let's try this one but I think you can still use this acrylic tin If you cannot afford a jelly plate, I think you can use the acrylic. Let's see with the stencil. No. So I'm guessing, let's try without the stencil and see if we can get the pattern. You can still get the paint, but it's not as much of, like the second print is not as much paint as in the jelly plate. Let's try. Okay, so the acrylic, I, I could say it's maybe a fail. Let's, tr let's try like this, let's see. Now it's dry kind of dry okay so that's a no no I guess so let's try a different one I think right now the acrylic the jelly plate is winning on my eyes so let's try something different now let me clean my stencil let me clean this this one the paint um, dry too fast it works if you use, you know, fresh paint, like every time that you're gonna use it, but if you wanna do like a second or third pr print from the first one, um, it will dry too fast. On the jelly plate, you can um, use, like, you know, you can do two and three prints, two or three prints from the first paint that you put there. So let's try. Let's try this plastic thing. It's just like plastic folder. Let's try this. So Okay, so jelly play you can do one, two or three prints. The acrylic thing, the acrylic um let's say acrylic plate um you can only do one print front, you know, the paint that you put there. So that's a pro from the um, jelly plate that you can use it more than once with the first coat of paint. It's gonna use one color first. So you pay attention of each first um, paper. Uh, I think this is the first one that we did with the jelly plate. So look at the difference. This is the first one for the plastic. This is the first one for the jelly plate. And let me get 
trying to see where I put the first one for my let me see if it's this one well it moved the other one so let's try I was looking for the first one that we did with the pl the acrylic block or the, the acrylic plate let's try the stencil and you just judge for yourself The same thing as the plastic, the um, what was it? Uh, the acrylic plate. Okay, so let's see if I can pick without the stencil the design that is there. Mm, just a little bit. I think the other one was drier than this one. Well, still, you can see some of the design, but it's not as as good as the jelly plate. So, I'm gonna do a design. I didn't do that with the acrylic plate. Let's see. We put more paint. I'm just cleaning my stencil. Okay, so let me put a little bit more paint here. And we're gonna create a design with my scrapper. Let me use this one. Pretty good. Let's try real quick a second page and see if we can pick more. Let me go this way. I know that glass is pretty similar because I used to use um, glass. Well, you can do a second print. It's not as you know, you don't have as much paint, but you, you can use this for a project for sure. So let's clean this. But it was getting dry already. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. Let's try, let's try the wax paper before I go to the glass. Let's try it. And I'm using the wax, um, you know, the side that had the wax. Okay. Still has some paint there. Let's try to pick this. So you can hardly get a second print. Let me just use some white here.
Okay, we got a stencil here. Okay, you can get some design from the stencil. Let's try a second print. So, no, it dried too fast. Okay, we can move on. We're gonna try now, let me clean my stencil. We're gonna try now the glass. Where's my wipe? And I'm not gonna throw this wax paper out. I'm gonna use it as a background for something. Okay, so let me try Oh, we, we also have, I'm gonna use it, look. You can use this. Let's use the Ziploc bag. We haven't used that. Let me get my stencil from the floor and fall off. Just a second. I don't want to rake it. My chair is on top of it. I got it. Got it. Let's move on. Let's try the. I forgot the name, the Ziploc bag. <laughs> I was trying to remember the name. Let me just clean my hands, okay. Let me clean my rolling pin. I think this is a briar, I think is the name of this. I'm not sure. I should have looked for the name before starting the video, but I forgot. But you know what it means, Get, get right? So let's use this one. We haven't used this one. If I can open it. Oh my God. <sighs> Just. Let's try this. What do you think? Let's try. I don't think we're gonna get anything else if I use the second print, but let's try it. No, just a little bit. So I'm guessing all this, you can only use like the first fresh paint that you put on them. Let's try with this create some texture. You can see on some places, but maybe it's the paint that is light, but it's, it's already getting dry. Um, you can um, see it there. 
So I'm guessing for all these other items that are not a jelly plate, you may need to use just the first um, coat of paint and you can only print, I'm guessing once from each use. And before we go, we're gonna try with the jelly play again so you can see again how the jelly play works. I'm gonna try the stencil now. Let's use this one. So do we really need a jelly plate? Just for yourself. Look, with the stencil, they don't work with the stencil that much. Um, you can see at some places, but let me see if I can pick what is left here with the design. see some you can see the flowers here the paint is kind of dry but you can still get what the stencil left here so that's good that's a plus so let me clean my stencil and last but not least we're gonna use the glass from my picture frame. And see how that works. I'm gonna put that aside. Look, I can still use, <laughs> I think I can use the, the paper towel. Oh, let me clean my. Okay, so let me get the glass. Let's see with this one. Let's see how it works. Let me move some papers out of the way. So I have some here beside me. And I'm running out of space. Just move some. We have made a lot. And don't worry, I'm gonna use all of this as background on tags and other projects. Maybe as background on my art journal. Um, Margaret Miller um, challenges for collages and all that. So don't worry about uh, <laughs> me using all those um, pages because I'm going to use them. So, so this is, will be the last one that we're going to try. And it's the glass. I'm going to start first with one color. I can already feel like it's, it's drying, but let's see. Okay, so this is our first print. It's not as dark as when we did the first one with other ones or with the jelly plate. So you can see that it's already kind of dry. Let's see what we can pick from the glass. not that much so we don't have much less so, so all of these other options you you can use them by just as the first layer and the first print you can know you said more than once You need a fresh coat of paint 
every time that, I, that you use it. Let's try three colors and see. Hopefully I will not create mud here, but let's try just to put some. Try one a stencil. Hardly got anything from there. Let's try this without the stencil. You can still, you know, see some of the design, but it's not as vibrant. I know it's a second print, but. Um, you can still see the design, but not that much. So let me clean my stencil real quick. And we're gonna get our jelly plate back again out here. Let me just clean my stencil real quick. This I'm not gonna clean because it broke. So I'm just gonna throw them that out. And let me get my jelly plate. If I can find it, let me see where I put it. My jelly plate. Did I lose my jelly plate? Let me let me get <laughs> let me get all the paper out of the way so I can see my my stuff. I'm just gonna move the stencil out of the way real quick so I can have space here because I'm running out of space. Let me grab my jelly plate. It was on the other papers. I just needed to move some things around to find it. So we're gonna try the, um, with the jelly plate, I'm gonna try with the, with this, I'm gonna try the stamp again, another stencil, and I wish I could have more stuff. I, I wish I could show you with the, um, like bubble, bra bubble wrap or something, but, okay, so let's, we use our jelly play for one a uh, couple of times more, two or three times, so you can see. Maybe so far, I think the jelly plate is the start of the night. I really like how the prints on the jelly plate looks, but you can still use the other options. But remember, you just need to add more, uh, you know, coats of paint every time that you're gonna use it. But you still can use them. It's just that the paint dries faster. Okay. You can see the design some places. Let me get the second print and see how it looks. Look, you can still see it. And I don't have that much uh, paint here on the jelly plate. Let's see. Mm. 
Let's see what we can pick from the jelly plate on our paper. Look, you can still use the paint that was left there. So I did um, Let me show you from the first one. Then we uh, pass the roll again for this one, I think it was. This was the second print. This was the first one, second print. And then we did the third print, uh, you know, passing the roll. And I didn't have that much paint on my jelly plate. So let's try. Let's write four colors in a line here. And we're gonna use the stencil. Mm. Some of the same as the other one. I think it's depending the stencil that you use. Let's try that that we have left there. Look. This is our second print. It look better than the first one. It just, I think it's depending on the stencil. It cannot be that thick. You see the difference? I like it. Okay, so let's try. Let me just use that that is on my stencil right now. Like from the stencil. So let me show you from the jelly plate, from the stencil. use what I have left here. Let me just clean my, my um, wipe is dry already. That's what I was left on the roll from the stencil. Okay, so let's try with the stamps again. I'm gonna try with the stamp one more time and I think that will be it. I don't want to make the video too long and I already, I'm pretty sure you already have an idea of if you should um, invest on a jelly play or not. I'm pretty sure you can see the quality of the print. But you can still use the other things, just like I told you, just use um, a, French, a fresh coat of paint every time that you're gonna use it. Because maybe you cannot afford it right now. 
So just use what you have at home and just use, maybe put less paint that I'm using here so you can, you know, just use a fresh coat every time. You can still get prints. So. Just made a mess. I used too much paint. Okay, so let me use my You can see some, not that much, but you can see some. Let me just And I'm just gonna use some white here with the what I have left on my roll and my jelly plate. Well, we we'll use a lot of paint. Okay. Maybe I should try another stamp and see if it works. That. Okay. I just gonna um, be done when I'm done with this and. Just leave me a comment below and let me know what do you think about the jelly plate and the other things that we tried. If you had tried something else, um, let me know. I would like to know what you have used. Is your own a jelly plate? Or is you, is, is you don't? I'm gonna use this on the darker color here. Let's see. can see some of the bubbles but not that much like here some places but I like the white over the darker color let me try it with this one You can hardly see it, but let me show you all the papers that we did. All of them um, like the jelly plate and without the jelly plate. And I have to clean all my stuff. Let me use this. Okay, so let me show you. We have these ones that we just did. We did a lot. Let me show you. 
all this we did with all of them, the jelly plates, the paper, the um, Ziploc bag, the plastic, we did with the acrylic. Let me show you all. Let me, I'm grabbing all the ones that we did. We did a lot. We did a lot. So there's some more. This was with the jelly plate. This one was, I don't even remember, but let me show you. So you can see the different one that we made with the different materials that we use. This one, you hardly got anything there. Here. I'm just grabbing all the ones that I have left here so I can show you. So for me, the jelly plate works better because it's intended for printing. But if you cannot afford a jelly plate, I cannot stress it enough. You can use what you have at home, just do one coat of paint and just, um, you know, use one coat of paint. Do you design everything that you wanna use and then print your paper and then put another uh, coat of paint and it will work. Um, I think for me, I will say the glass, I think the glass was second or it was, and the, uh, the uh, Ziploc bag worked pretty well too. But look, all the pages that we use. So I'm gonna use this on upcoming videos so I can use them, you know, as background to um, collages and all that stuff. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you have fun. Um, you know, watching me creating all this printing and that I, uh, this video is informative for you. So that way you will know if, do I really want to invest on a jelly plate? So leave me your comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, and let other people know, you know, share my videos, let other people know that uh, there's a YouTube channel I'm trying to grow and that we are creating a lot of fun projects. So this was an experiment. It's a challenge. I will challenge you to try it. Um, if you don't have a jelly plate, just try whatever you can find at home that is flat that you can use. Um, and just try, you never know what you would like. So thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Have a good night everyone. Happy crafting.